Hey everyone, going slow. Oh, here it is. Um, I thought I'd do my live stream earlier today um, because there may have been a risk that my kids are going to be in the background being a single mum. So whether or not people, this is the best time to do this live stream, um, it's convenient to me, but hopefully people listen to it. Um, and as you know, I'm a busy mum, uh, I'm a single mum, solo mum, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I've been training mums for a very long time now. Um, and we haven't just trained mums, we um, have spoken to thousands of mums. Um, no problem, Natalie. Um, and what I see time and time and time and time and time again is that the reality of being a busy mum is 100% real, okay? And there is no argument towards that. Being a busy mum means that there's a whole lot of SHIT going on. And it's so easy to get within that focus, and hold on, I'm just gonna bring this up. Um, you know, to, to be living that, 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 that full steam of head of what's going on of being a busy mum. And what stops mum from achieving their goals is where they focus their energy on. Um, and when it comes to weight loss and health and fitness, so many mums who fail, I guarantee you, are perfectionists because they want to do something so perfectly and think that they can commit when the reality is they won't be able to commit 100%. And when you're on a weight loss journey, weight loss for a busy mum sometimes isn't gonna be about being 100% committed, all right? And that's factual, because there are gonna be days that you don't have energy. There are gonna be days that your kids are sick. There are gonna be days where the finances hit the roof, you haven't slept the night before, the baby's crying, um, and then suddenly you've gone and eaten your chocolate and cake, and um, you know, then you've fallen off the wagon, and then you fall off the wagon the next day, and then you know, then you feel the guilt, and, and then you start to analyze why, and then you're like, oh my God, you know, I've had such a bad week, everything's gone to crap, you know, fighting with my husband, the kids are crazy, you know, I've fallen off the wagon, and then suddenly your focus has gone away from health and fitness to all the stuff that's happened to you. And we are who we are today from what we did yesterday and our memories the day before and the day before. So my advice to you right here, if, you're a co if you've got lots going on in your life because it's reality and maybe things aren't gonna change anytime soon, the one thing that you and any other busy mum has to focus on is consistency with the basics, all right? And to be honest, sometimes I just get my mums to focus on mindset and and reframing their mindset. And that means, yes, you've got all that stuff going on right now, but is it possible for you to focus on a couple of good things going on in your life? Because if you can change your emotional state to positive, you can't think of negative stuff going on in your life, all right? And a lot of the time, the stuff that us mums focus on is so not worth even focusing on, once you write it down, you realize just how unnecessary it is. If you're still talking about what was going on last week in your life and how bad it was, and you're not shifting into the future, your life isn't gonna be a very happy place. And you know, being a solo mum myself, running my own business, going through the hurdles that I've gone through, once I've realized to take responsibility, you know, for everything that comes into my life, then you can take responsibility for your own happiness. Because there are gonna be days that I'm not gonna exercise, all right? There are gonna be days where, like last night, I ended up taking the girls out for dinner because it was late and I had nothing in the house and did I care? No, because that's my life. But I don't analyze it. I then say, okay, well, what can I do today? So what did I do? Obviously, I got up, I did my live workout with my mums because I've got 12 minutes. If I've got 12 minutes, you've got 12 minutes. 
you know, we've gone to the shops today, we've done another big shop, we've got all the food in the house to be prepared. So it, it's, a constant, it's a constant work on consistency. Um, if you are... If you are constant, if you are in a position where you are turning to foods that you know that you shouldn't, um, like takeaways or chocolate or things that are in the house, I would then be looking for a cause. So the cause needs to be, okay, why are you bringing it into the house, number one? All right, what is your reasoning? Um, is it lack of preparation? Is it because you think that your kids need it? Um, is it because you're lazy? Um, because all of these factors play a big role. And I always say to a mum, you know, I always look at the cause for something. You know, why are you emotionally eating? Why are you not happy? Oh, because I've got something happening in my relationship with my husband. Well, then the number one thing for you to do is actually take action with dealing with the issues with your husband. Um, if it's sleep and you're not sleeping at night, and that can affect your hormones. In fact, it affects your adrenaline, and sometimes when we don't have sleep, um, it affects our hunger hormone. So then we need to look at creating a better sleep routine. So a lot of the mums I deal with who have sleep issues, um, you know, we do get them taking magnesium, we get them off the TV screens, we get them in a better night routine. Um, if you're drinking coffee, if you're on any highly processed sugar foods, that's going to affect your sleep as well. Um, a lot of the mums that come on my program sleep so much better uh, because they are taking any toxic load out of their system and they're giving their body what they need. Um, another cause of emotional eating could be the values in the story that you're telling yourself, you know, when I feel like crap, I eat crap, or, you know, I know I get to a certain point, you know, I do something for three weeks, and then I fall off the wagon, uh, because that's a, that's a massive story. A lot of people um, have this belief, or they've created it, that they'll only ever do something for three weeks, and then they'll stop. So what I get a lot of my mums to do who have those limiting beliefs is I actually get them to recreate that story, do a lot of journal work, a lot of um, awareness, mindfulness, um, and start to create a, a better um, habitual mindset around those new stories. And it is, it, it, it's not going to take, you know, a day. It could take, you know, um, it, it takes daily consistency. Um, so, you know, back to where I started from, the reality of being a busy mum is real. Don't ever, don't ever try and make that um, easy because sometimes it does get hard and that's okay. But don't ever let it be an excuse because if an excuse, that's when you're going to take action in a negative way. Um, you know, I'm a busy mum, but I prioritize my health and fitness. You know, and that affirmations that I advise any mum out there that is struggling to start using, instead of making that excuse like, I'm a busy mum, I can't do this, is I'm a busy mum, but I prioritize my health and fitness. I'm a busy mum, today I couldn't work out, but I drank my three liters of water. I am a busy mum, but I did a big shop on a Sunday and I prepared, you know, I organized all my meals ahead and um, I would really like to give credit to Jazz, one of the UBM ladies on our group who uh, has lost 25 kgs since March. And she is a pure example of what can be done as a busy mum on a budget, um, you know, focusing on consistency and just getting the, the bull SHIT story out of the head. Because each and every one of you each and every one of you who's listening to this right now, and I can promise you can achieve an incredible goal. All right, number one, because you're worth it. Number two, because you deserve it. Number three, because you can. All right, it's not going to be a perfect journey. All right, it will never be a perfect journey. And you're never going to have a day maybe a few days that are perfect. Um, but, you know, self-belief and, you know, don't waste your money on magic shakes that don't work. Don't waste your money on overnight success because they're all lies. 
you know like we as a society live in this social media world where it's most of it's lies you know we think that our cellulite's going to go overnight we think that we're going to get abs which most probably filters these days um you know the the real work and the real effort comes from the the basicness of a, a pro, an approach so um yeah i haven't managed to have a screaming four-year-old on me today um so i just wanted to you know get this uh, as a reminder to you all about where you should be and look we, you know we, we're here to help we've got all different programs you know number one program if you're wanting to transform will be our eight week vip if you're wanting to give us a free go as well you can try our for a 14 day free program and we train busy mums for a living that's what we do and we've got an amazing team and an amazing bunch of beautiful mums in our tribe who are on here now um you know let everyone know that it's totally doable um but have an amazing day everyone um I'm going to have an amazing day because it's a choice. It's a choice in our mind to create that. Um, and I'm going to be diving further into the mindset stuff over the next few weeks to really help any mums out. So stay tuned um, and have a listen to my live streams. And yeah, I will speak to you soon. Later, alligator. <laughs>